welcome to M Squared TechCast, a love show offering the latest news and interviews with the people driving business, technology, and politics in Michigan. Now, your hosts, Matt Rausch and Mike Brennan. It's Mike Brennan. And Matt Rausch. <laughs> and uh, you're listening to M Squared TechCast, which is now sort of morphed into MI Tech News TV, but we still have the Foster promos. I'm, yep. I'm loathe to get rid of those and, and update, you know, because... That man, God rest his soul, had a set of pipes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. The, the, the deep baritone. That dulcet tone, yeah, indeed. Yeah. So, well, well, we're here with another longtime friend of the show. Not with, um, but she doesn't have a deep baritone. No, no, no not hardly not. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's Tim Bershay. She's from Investitroit Ventures, uh, and you've got a big event coming up soon, right? We've got a lot of good stuff to talk about. So, yes, um, coming up in November. On November 13th is the Accelerate Michigan Innovation Competition, um, or AMIC, as we all like to lovingly refer to it. Mm -hmm. So um, entre we're looking for those entrepreneurs to put their applications in by August 15th. Yeah, I know there was a deadline coming up, so we need to highlight that. Uh, yep. But it's uh, just the application. It's not the actual executive summary. Yeah, you don't need a business plan yet. If you just even think you might want to compete for one million dollars, one uh, million dollars, <laughs> two million dollars. Yep, yes. it's uh, August fifteenth yeah. is the deadline to just register. It so is, and then it's fairly painless. I looked at the form. Awesome. Yeah, I'm so glad you did. Thank you for your help on that. I appreciate it. So oh. yeah, app, um, register to compete by um, August fifteenth, and then by August thirty first, you're going to need to have all that other information in. Now, these companies, from my experience covering this thing forever, is these are not startups. They are startups, yes, but they're really phase two where they're doing commercialization. They got something going on versus, gosh, we got this great idea. Let's get some money for it, right? Well, they're, they're actually very early seed. Mm -hmm. um, so companies that have been in the ecosystem that are they, they're, they're past ideation, let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. But they may not have their MVP complete. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, have their market. Well, they really might not have down. customers yet. They yeah, might they not have revenue. Don't. A lot yeah, of them right. definitely don't have customers. A few do. Yeah. A few mm -hmm. have okay. customers on occasion. Well, guys, but. maybe you ought to throw my platform in there, assuming that it gets done by <laughs> April. By November. Uh, by August. Yeah, yeah, yeah. November, yes. Yeah, right. That's so, what the yeah. event is. You want to show them something. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So it's going to be great. So we're actually going to be in a really nice venue downtown that's been completely redone. We're going to be at the State Savings Bank. And from what I heard when... State Savings Bank. Never been there. Like right downtown. Beautiful. Okay. What's, uh, Beautiful. what's the address? That's a good question. I'm going to have to look that up. Okay. Ah. I'll look it up right now. I so. don't have it. Okay. So it's the Campus Marshes area around there? or what? I think it's even further downtown. I think it's closer to... Um, Jefferson? Jefferson. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Gosh, I've never heard of it before. Yeah. Beautifully redone as, you know, many of the buildings downtown are being done. So right. another nice space. You know, we were at Lexus Velodrome last year, and it was a lot of fun, but we really like to showcase some of the different things happening. 151 West Fort Street, folks. That is where it is. State Savings Bank historical marker is there. It'd be Ford and what? Um, I'm going to look at the map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, right uh, by, it's right by the Guardian building. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, right downtown. So. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so it's going to be great. So in, even if you're... In, if you're an entrepreneur who thinks you want to apply, definitely do that by August 15th. Mm -hmm. If you're someone who just wants to come see what's happening um, and network with investors, we have investors coming in from all over the country um, mm -hmm. to help us with this pitch competition. We've got some great judges um, and lots of opportunities. So even if you're not a company that's going to compete, there's no harm in coming down and networking with other folks and seeing you know, what kind of opportunities are out there. Well, even if you throw your uh, your idea in the mix, it's going to be viewed by somebody, right? Absolutely. And you'll get some feedback like, well, great idea, but, you know, you need to do this, this, and this, which is very valuable. Yeah, we have teams of judges who actually, I, be I believe, um, are doing different levels of, of vetting and, and, and teams deciding you right. know, who's going through. Because we host the competition, we can't really do the judging, too. That would be <laughs> hmm. not really right. <laughs> So we have a bunch of people who help us do that, which is great. All yeah. people in the entrepreneurial ecosystem here. Right. Well, we got a bunch of those. Well, and that's you know that to me is the great value of these things. I mean, it, it, there are some cool companies that come out of them. Uh, there are some cool companies that win prizes, but really, just getting everybody together, you it know, is. is a big part of this. It re it really is. It's super beneficial, and there are people who come in from the coast and other parts of the country who don't necessarily know what's going on in the ecosystem here. So it's really enlightening to them. 
um, and it'll be, you know, in November. So Detroit mm-hmm. Homecoming will have happened. We already will have done, you know, a couple other big things this year. And you're year. guaranteeing yeah. it'll be excellent weather, right? I sure hope so. Yeah, it's, it's too early I can't for snow. Was it November? Okay. What's the date again? November 13th. Ooh, uh, it's sort of in that danger zone, you <laughs> yeah, know? It's, so. it's actually very, it could be very shaky. Yeah. <laughs> it was cold last year, but it was nice and sunny. It was and dry. Stuff. Okay. It was good. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so so, so th- and and this is for more than just um, sort of the typical when you think of a startup and you think of a, an app or software algorithms that kind of thing. You're, you're looking for physical product companies too, as well, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We uh, last year there were a few companies that had physical products. There was Life Science, um, Mobility. Anything you can think of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mobility is apps. big now. Everybody's getting into mobility. That's our thing here in Detroit. So, Well, there's so many different aspects to it. Right. I mean, in our portfolio, surprisingly, we don't have a lot of mobility. Really? We have some, but not a lot. Um, and there's so many different aspects to it. Just being out and about with the Planet M folks, as I'm sure you're familiar. Mm-hmm. So many different things. How everything talks to each other and Internet of Things, like the conference that you host. Mm-hmm. You know, it's they're all just... Everything's going to touch each other, and I can't wait for autonomous vehicles, honestly, because I could get up north a lot quicker if people would get out of the way. This is, you can just <laughs> sit there, yeah, you can sit there and get your work done, and the car will do the driving. Exactly. Doesn't that That's sound fabulous? So, yeah, yeah, but no it, uh, surging. We're still a ways <laughs> away from that. But <laughs> well, it'll happen on freeways first. Yeah, you know, absolutely. That's, that's yeah. the thing. You know, controlled access, on ramps and off ramps, and gradual speed increases and decreases, and all that sort of thing. I think so I mentioned. I, I, I too am awfully tired of I seventy five between Flint and Standish. I oh, just, yes. I just would be happy never to have to drive that again. Mm-hmm. We'll just let the car do it. Yeah, I think I mentioned. And then I had a family reunion in Boyne City, I think a year ago, and I made the mistake of coming down on Memorial Day Monday because I had to oh. get the kids to the airport, oh, right? Oh, that's a bad time to come. And we left at 10 in before. the morning, and I got my son to the airport at 4.30, and it was just a moving parking lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... As it can be. And, and frequently you told me to take 127, quickly. so next time that's the way I'll do it. 127 so is the way 75, forget it. Yep. You mm-hmm. know, so anyway. We, di- do. we digress. So we've got, we do. We, we've got Hacker Fellows you wanted to talk about, too, right? Yes. Yeah, so we have Accelerate Michigan is one of our programs at Invest Detroit Ventures. And the other program um, that we help the ecosystem a little bit is uh, with Hacker Fellows. Mm-hmm. So it's a group of college students, tech, uh, tech folks, who are looking to go into startup community but not have to go to the coast. We want to keep them here mm-hmm. and the startups that are happening here and right. be able to compete salary-wise mm-hmm. to keep them here and keep them interested in it. Sure. So this program is actually, we have some partners that help us fund this program and we place 15 fellows every year and 10 interns at um, tech startups within the city mm. and the state. That's so great. some in Ann Arbor, some here. So do you place them, but they also do they get the kind of funding, or are you just sort of? Yeah, we um, the program actually helps supplement their salaries mm-hmm. to the company, so that the company is not having to do that. So, so c- you take care of their internship costs, whatever those might be, or whatever. A portion of it, yeah, to bring right. them up to a level where they would be if they went outside of the state mm-hmm. to work in a startup. Mm-hmm. Well, one's like, dollar does go a little bit farther here in Michigan. It goes a lot further um, here than it does in Silicon Valley. Particularly, particularly for housing, right. I think yeah. I told you, Rachel Conrad bought a three-bedroom house out in the, I can't remember which part of the, the valley it was, $1.4 million. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. nuts. Yeah. And same thing. I was just in New York last week for a, a summit with a group of other folks who do what I do, who manage portfolio companies for venture capital firms. and. It always amazes me. New York is a great city, but I'm starting to feel that vibe here downtown like it was there and get a lot more for your money than the little teeny hotel that I ended up staying in. (laughs) I I started my career in New York in 1981 uh, working at a publishing house, Trade Press Publishing House, and that's when it was bottoming out and they were getting ready to go into bankruptcy in Manhattan was not a real friendly place. I yeah, mean, Times was, Square was Times a real Square dark was, carnival. Yes, we all know about Times oh, yeah. Square. Yeah, Ugh. that's the way it was. Well, it's like a Disney yeah. mall now. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's really yeah. come a long way. <laughs> it really, it, when I was there last week, I thought, you know, Midtown Detroit, downtown Detroit really is getting this vibe. It really feels good. So we should all be very proud of what. Yeah, last time I yeah. went down there for the an event, I actually had a hard time finding parking, which is a lovely problem to have. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> unusual. Yeah, I did too. So that's great. So. Getting these young people here 
involved staying here. It's really fantastic. And they've worked for some great companies. So they've been at Duo. They've been at StockX, Nutshell. So what cool places to, you know, start your tech career right mm-hmm. out of college. All right. There's yeah. <clears throat> an internship. So we're really proud of that one, too. So helping the ecosystem in any way we can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if uh, I am a young person or no one, um, how do they apply for this program? I don't think you're a young person, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. So they can go right on the Invest Detroit website. We're uh, speaking hypothetically. Yes, <laughs> right, right, <now>. yes. <laughs> what does young mean? That's so, it. Yeah, <laughs> compared to 95, you're young. <laughs> yeah, yes, so. right, right. <laughs> yes, they can go right on our website, um, investdetroit.com and forward slash venture, ID Ventures and Hacker Fellows and the Accelerate Michigan application are there. And mm-hmm. also, we just love to see the community come out and, and spend the afternoon with us on November 13th and meet some of these fantastic entrepreneurs and see this what was it called again the state bank state savings bank state in downtown. savings bank hmm. it's been completely redone just beautiful really i've seen a picture huh. yeah I, originally I, it was a bank i'm assuming yeah. right okay yeah, absolutely it was a bank yeah, yeah. I, I just looked at a few pictures online here it is gorgeous it's really? uh, yeah and very impressive what Se- is 73 000 square feet plus or minus i think something like that and they want to fill it with Shops and offices. That's so. what I was going to ask: is what are they going to do with it after the event? Right? Yeah, you know, yeah. So. Well, it's it doesn't look like there's any residential in it. It looks like all commercial space. Ah, so okay, makes sense. Yep. So found another new gem. Everybody what do we got, Dave? Again. A couple more minutes. Uh, so what else we got, Tamber? So is everybody? I haven't talked about Investor Trade Ventures in a long time, ah. and actually, what we do. Yeah, right so yeah. I yeah, really thought about that as on my win yeah, today. So <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Thanks so much. So. Or the basis of, of what we do is early seed stage investment for Michigan companies. So mm-hmm. across the state, we've got some great investments up in Houghton, mm-hmm. a rocket thruster company, which is really fun. Oh. Um, and Actually, I think I've interviewed that guy. They've got a big vacuum chamber at Michigan Tech, right? Yeah, Brad and, King. Yeah, yeah. And, he's, and he's working on an ion thruster. Yeah. Which is basically a rocket without rocket fuel. Works with magnets. Don't ask me how, but, uh-huh. you know, okay. Very so, cool. Yeah. And it's for specifically for, there. I've learned a lot about satellites recently. Uh-huh. There are large satellites, there are small satellites, and there's what they're calling this medium grade satellite, uh-huh. which is the one that Amazon is sending tens of thousands of up into space. So that's uh-huh. kind of their sweet spot is that medium size utility. It's not super expensive. It's cost effective. That's it's for that's communications of some kind, right? Communications and, and drone, frequently, drone yeah, the, technologies. yeah, the the life of a satellite like that is not defined by the electronics wearing out. It's that it runs out of propellant, hmm. and there's no way to go up there and service it. So they're thinking that with these thrusters, they can make those satellites last a lot longer, oh. driving down the cost. So makes sense. That's the idea. One minute, I'm getting the sign here. That? So you had no idea. So we work with companies around the state that pre-seed, early seed, up through Series A. We do a lot of syndication with other people, too. So if you know anybody out there, any entrepreneurs who are looking for funding or just looking you know, for some help and guidance, that's really important to us, too. Even though we can't fund everybody, we do want to make sure that we can help everybody. Okay, we've got about a half a minute left, so hit them with those websites. Websites. So, Amic. Actually, everything is go to investdetroit.com and then forward slash accelerate Michigan forward slash ID Ventures, or forward slash Hacker Fellows. Got them all. Okay. Tim Shea from Invest Detroit Ventures, ID Ventures, Hacker Fellows, Accelerate Michigan Innovation Competition, all sorts of stuff going on. Thanks for being with us today. Four-year students love Lawrence Technological University's thriving campus life, but LTU has always met non-traditional students' needs, too. Lawrence Tech offers over 100 degree and certificate programs that can get adult students started or back on track. And most of our classes are conveniently offered evenings at our beautiful Southfield campus or online so you can balance your social, family, and work life even while you power up your career. Lawrence Tech, where blue devils dare.